Hello friends, this is Nikita and thank you for joining me in this video. In this video, I wanted to talk about cascading approvals. So this particular video is dedicated to one uh, person who has uh, requested me for this video for a long time. So I thought to make a video on it as soon as I can. I hope you like it. Uh, so without wasting any time, let's jump into the video. Thank you. Let me first uh, tell you about the content of this particular video, what I would discuss in this particular video. So in this video, I would discuss about what is a cascading approval, what are the types of cascading approval, then there are two reporting structure and authority matrix, when to use what, uh, what is the advantage, okay. So these two reporting structure, we would uh, discuss, uh, th these two uh, cascading approvals we would discuss. So let's jump into the video. So first of all, uh, what is a cascading approval? So in PEGA, we always talk about cases, approvals, you know, so all the workflow. So in an enterprise, this is a normal scenario. Whenever you create an assignment, there would be different approvals required, right? So likewise, uh, when you have a different, uh, different kind of approvals, okay? So not a single approval is enough then it is called a cascading approval. So cascading approval can also be configured through uh, different conditions. We can conditionalize the cascading approval also, okay? So it's a flexible kind of approval, okay? So there are two types which are reporting structure and authority matrix, okay? So what is a reporting uh, structure uh, approval? So in this particular, uh, cas in this particular cascading approval, what we do is we, uh, we basically is concerned only about the hierarchy of the reporter or hierarchy of the operator. So suppose there is a particular assignment which has to be approved by my manager, then my manager's manager, and then again, it's manager. So there is this hierarchy which is being followed here. So whenever the hierarchy comes into picture, we talk about reporting structure. Okay, so when I'm saying hierarchy, what I mean is, let me show you my operator ID so that you understand the concept behind this. So this is my operator ID, okay? And then when I go to the uh, work tab, I see there is a reports to field. So this field basically talks about my uh, manager, okay? So my manager, his name is manager, I've just kept it as, you know, uh, so my manager again has some uh, reports to, which is a senior manager. And then the senior manager will again have some reports to which is director. So this will, this is basically the hierarchy which is being followed. Okay. So this is called, um, this is called the hierarchy. Okay. So reporting structure is basically used when we have a, a hierarchy uh, coming into picture. Okay. And also we can conditionalize it with some when condition that suppose when the, this condition satisfy, I need two level up approvals only, okay? So this kind of uh, conditionalization can be done. Then the next type of cascading approval is authority matrix. This is basically a flexible approval where the approvers can be within your hierarchy or outside your hierarchy. So my assignment can be, uh, can be needed to be approved by my manager and someone from another unit. Okay, someone from another division or unit, it can be anything. So basically, it is not always following the hierarchy. Okay, so this is the difference between reporting structure and authority matrix. In authority matrix, we use decision table to set uh, the condition and understand which uh, approval should be needed. So there would be series of approval required. So when we uh, create the decision table, we should always evaluate all rows, check evaluate all rows because uh, the decision table should go to each row and see whether this condition is satisfying or not and add it to the list of approvers. Okay, so let's jump into my application and uh, try to understand how it is done. Okay, so this is my case type onboarding case type. Let me open this for you. So in this case type, uh, we would understand how it is done. So basically the process name is equipment selection. And then there are two steps in it. First one is the fill equipment details. And then there is the approve sub process. So how did I create this approve sub process? Let me delete this again, create a step. And then you can see this approve or reject shape, right? So just click on it. 
and this would be uh, you can name something or you know just for naming okay so i can save it so basically my approval sub process which is a out of box sub process would be added in your uh, uh, process okay so now coming to the right uh, right pain right so there is this single level and cascading level single level is easy whatever you specify as a user right uh, suppose i want to send this assignment to a particular user for approval so this is like easy way or you can also send it to a work queue or a work basket right so that's that's like an easy one but now we are talking about cascading so i select cascading now i see two option first one is a reporting structure and the second one is the authority matrix okay so let me start one by one the first one is reporting structure when i select this i get this option reporting manager and work group manager so reporting manager i showed you just whatever my operator id is whatever reports to uh, i have given there that would be my reporting manager work group manager is basically whatever my operator id is there there would be some work group there okay so that in that work group uh, so this is my team or a work group when i open this then there is this uh, manager right so this is my work group manager so if i want my work group manager to approve then i can select that now let me keep it as reporting manager and approval level i can give any according to that it would be uh, routed okay so when i give one only my manager can approve okay so only one approval level when i select all all the uh, person in the hierarchy has to approve the assignment then only it will go to the next level now custom is something where you can uh, give your when condition and according to the when condition your level of approval can be set so suppose i give some when condition that this equipment number should be one then i need only one level of approval okay so in that way you can configure this so let's do this demo okay one by one let me select it as one and see what happens to my case okay i selected it as one i just go to the case type i i have to run this particular case type to see the approval okay so this is going to run yeah so let's uh, click on create now i can give some equipment and number that's okay because i'm not yet conditionalized this so yeah so this is my manager who has to approve this i can also log in through manager i mean the manager can log in and approve this case from his uh, system i'm just showing it for demo i can do it from here go okay so i can give some notes if i have to and then do approve since i selected only one level of approval my uh, you know the approval process is completed the next step has come next step i have not configured any new steps that's why it's showing like this but at least my approve is completed okay so this is done now coming to the second one which is all all is basically all all people in the hierarchy has to approve it so let's do a save and run and see how it works okay yeah so let's create it now an equipment number anything is okay now submit so it went to the manager let me approve this now the next would be can you guess this yeah senior manager my manager's manager okay so go approve this i hope this is clear i try to make it as easy as possible okay now this is director because my senior manager's reports to is director okay so let's prove this as well anything else oh yeah we have again director has to uh director reports to his vice president right so yeah you have to do this okay so there were four approvers approved okay ah uh, yeah so now it's configured all the approval steps have been completed okay so i hope you got this idea right so now coming to the custom one custom one is bit um, you know you have to conditionalize it by some when condition so i have created the when condition already to make it super easy equipment equal to 1 so i want to give 
for one level of approval when my equipment is equal to two i want to give two level of approval when my equipment is equal to three i want to give three level of approval and when my equipment is more than four i want to give four okay so this is my condition a lot of condition yeah so let me save this now run it um let me take uh, let, let me first run this and give some number of equipment so that we understand how many level of approval would be needed let me create this so now uh, give some equipment and number of equipment uh, so let me give us three so when i give three how many approvals would be needed three levels okay so let's see if it works submit it so manager first approval approve second one is senior manager approve third one is director approve so there were three levels because i selected as three now you can see the approval step is completed so i hope you got this idea as well so this was the reporting structure and the next one would be the authority matrix okay what happens in authority matrix is i've already told you it's basically um, you have to configure the approvers uh, outside your hierarchy okay so that's that is a use case because a use case might be different for different uh, organization or different case type okay so basically according to your use case you have to configure this so now let me show you how this works i will select the authority matrix and decision table we have to create i have already created for understanding let me open this for you so this is vendor approvers okay what you have to do here is first of all go to the result tab and select this evaluate all rows very important the next one is what is the property what is the property through which you are selecting the approver name approver email id or whatever you can say so number of equipment is the property for which i want to conditionalize it there can be more than one also it's not necessary that you have only one property for conditionalize uh, this so for now i have selected only number of equipment and i have selected the operator as greater than equal to basically when greater than equal to 1 uh, this approval would be selected greater than equal to 2 director 3 vice president so you have to understand this there would be more than one always like if if i select the number of a uh, number of equipment my view as 3 what will happen it will first go here uh it would see that uh, it, number of equipment is greater than 3 or not okay so so then senior manager would be uh, selected then it would be uh, you know greater than equal to 3 or not then director would be selected like that so basically uh, this is the way it is selected let me go to this yeah so page list property you have to basically save this uh, approver uh, id in some page list okay so this is my page list uh, let me show you how i have done this so this is vendor approval is a page list where i have appended it appended the approver id this is the operate this is the property in which i will save the uh, approver id and uh, it would be saved in a page list okay yeah so this is how let me go to this and select the page list property vendor approvals and then the approval properties approver id okay so now when i do a save okay so let me run the case type okay so create this equipment you can give anything but uh, condition is in so when i give it as 3 and do a submit it went to the senior manager first because here is the senior manager okay then director vice president so all the three since i gave it as 3 in my view so now you can approve this so now the director approve this as well next one is 
vice president approved this as well so i hope you got an idea why three uh, are selected okay so because in my uh, in my view i gave the number of equipment as three so it went to the decision table and it tried to find out that uh, whether that three is equal to one yes equal and greater than one sorry uh, equal and greater than one yes then it selected senior manager and then it went to the second row it's uh, it again calculated whether this uh, uh, three is greater than two yes then director three is greater than equal to three yes then vice president so it basically evaluated all rows because it's satisfied if i would have given the number of equipment my form as one okay then only senior manager would have been selected but since i gave it as three all three were selected so that that that's all about both cascading approval types i hope you got an idea on how to configure this and how this works which one to choose in which situation um thank you so much for uh, being with me in this video i would come again with the next video on different topic till then see you all bye bye